The Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education have been working tirelessly to ensure the health and safety of students and teachers as schools reopen for grade 6 and form 5 students. As part of the precautions to prevent the potential spread of COVID-19, schools around the island facilitated both physical distancing and infection prevention and control measures. Chief Environmental Health Officer Parker Ragnanen expressed confidence that schools will adhere to the protocols and ensure teaching is delivered in a safe environment. We are living in a new period. Um, the issue of COVID-19 is a very real issue. We've seen what has happened in, in, in some places where you open up and if you're not ready in terms of having the measures in place to combat the spread of that uh, dreaded virus, um, you may end up with problems. And hence the reason why it is so important that, that the ministry and primarily the schools and the principals implement these protocols and ensure that they are in place at all times. Again, it is the measures that would ensure health and well-being of the population at the school. Principal of the Dame Paulette Louisie Primary School, Eflin Leos, spoke on the health protocols implemented at the school. We were very conscious of social distancing. So we first of all placed markers along the ground on entry so that the students can keep their distance when coming into the compound. We also sent out letters to the parents stipulating that no one will be allowed on the compound without a mask. Parents were also asked to refrain from coming on the compound for anything except if it's an emergency. So we have only the children entering the compound. Um, when students enter, they were informed in advance through the letter that they will stick to the markers and when they get to a point that they will be sanitized. So we have our janitors, we had four janitors on the spot for sanitization and they sprayed and sanitized the students. From that point, the students then moved to the next point where the temperatures were being taken by two um, teachers who were trained to do that specifically. One major component of the health protocols at the schools is the support of nurses to provide the services upon request. Assistant Principal Nursing Officer Tekla Jabatis spoke on this collaboration. Ahead of the reopening of schools, a contact list of healthcare facilities and regional supervisors has been circulated to all schools through the Department of Education. This is to facilitate ease of communication. The community health nurses will conduct regular visits to schools within their respective catchment areas. They will maintain regular contact with teachers and principals in order to address any concerns or any issues that may arise at the schools. The Ministry of Health advises that children with signs and symptoms of respiratory illness be kept home or seek medical care at the nearest community respiratory clinics. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I am Fennel Neptune.